Yo, what's good everybody? Rose Shocker 22 is here and guess what? We got the latest patch notes that will be coming out for NBA 2K24 on next gen consoles. Yes, version 1.3 will be coming out soon. And there's a lot of different things that's gonna be fixed that, you know, I've seen some issues out there on the court. So it's pretty excited to see um, something that's not gonna get too patched, but little minor fixes that could really help the gameplay. But before we get into that, make sure you smack a like on this video and make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you are not subscribed, we are making 2K videos all year long. Let's go ahead and get into these notes. Now, there uh, were a couple of things that I am so glad they fixed because it was pretty irritating um, and we'll get into that. But first thing we're going to talk about is gameplay. Um, they're going to tighten up the perimeter defense coverage checks to reduce ghost contests. So if you don't know what a ghost contest is, that means that you're shooting wide open shot and all of a sudden it's been contested and it's all like, yo, there's nobody near me. Yes, this has been happening to people where you're wide open and it still says on your meter that you have been, your shot has been contested and they call it a ghost contest. It's like, you know, Casper's out there trying to block your shot. It's right there. You don't see him. So looks like they're going to tighten that up and fix that, which is really, really good. And increase the make window size of open meter dunks. Um, in the city, Pro-Am Rec and Theater is a number of fixes to overall game stability while in the city have been made to improve user experience. Resolve an issue at the end of rec games that would send the user to the game's main menu following a black screen. I ran into this all weekend and it was so frustrating because you would have a great game in rec and right when that final buzzer sounds, bam, you get the loading screen and next thing you know, you're back at the menu screen. So I'm so glad they're fixing that. And then also functionality and stability improvements have been made to the social menu as we work to provide a more seamless experience. Uh, My Career Quest and Progression, the Rise specific heat check booster has been adjusted to activate after three made shots in a row instead of five. So if you are team Rise, um, instead of having to hit five shots, you only have to make three shots now. Fix the user reported issue that caused an indefinite hang when attempting to load a My Career save. Resolve a rare issue preventing rewards from being received upon the completion of some quests, including rebirth and certain badge perks. So there was times where you completed and it's all like, yo, I haven't received my rewards yet. So it looks like they fixed that. Close the loophole that could cause issues getting through the offseason when attending practice after the final game of an NBA season and made some adjustments to ensure that flashback games can be played at any time during the NBA season. So if you are um, a My Career player, if you've been doing a lot through that, you might have ran into some of these snags um, within the next update. If you are on Next Gen, they will be fixing all of these issues. Now, there was another issue that people have been talking about. It's been really, really hot in the community, and that's uh, the ability to steal the ball. It seemed like a lot of people are complaining how easy it is to steal. No matter if you have really good badges, if you have, um, you know, unpluckable and whatever, you are still getting ripped um, pretty easy. So I did see a tweet that is out there that that's not going to come in this update, but it is being heavily looked at for the next update. So for those of you guys who have been like, yo, I wish they fixed something about this, looks like they're gonna really get into that. But looks like it's cool. Uh, we don't want them to make too many different um, updates and you know, too, too many different changes to the games because right now, at least in my opinion, the game has been pretty smooth. I know the community has been mixed as far as shooting. You know, for some people it's been really hard to shoot. For some people it's been really easy to shoot. I know I've played against people who seem to patent, you know, have 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 it really easy to make a fadeaway three pointer. That can be frustrating. So if people are making that, then I don't know if it's you know something that if shooting is something that needs to be fixed. It's like you know just get in the lab, start working on your shot, find a shot that works for you, and you should be good to go. But I'm pretty excited to see some of these changes fixed, especially the wreck bug where you was actually getting kicked out of the games. I wasn't for sure if we were still getting our stats from everything. I think I was still getting VC and still getting stats from it, but it was a frustrating thing to be able to have a good game. You want to look at your grade and everything, and the next thing you know, blink, you 
you are gone. If you have anything um, that you want to see fixed in the game, leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know how you're liking the game and let me know what you want to see fixed. I am Rose Shocker 22 and yo, we've been playing a little bit of this strikeout. Next week is going to be cage match, so I'm pretty excited about that. But yeah, let me know if you're looking forward to the next weekend's um, game mode. Hope you guys have a great night and I will catch you guys later. Peace.